And uh, now I'm going to talk a bit about architecture uh, because I, d I, don't, I don't fully understand how it happened yet. This, this is the We Not Know show. We don't know. We started saying we didn't know, we didn't know about radio and we didn't know about R&B. Uh, well, I, knew what, I, think, I thought I knew what R&B was a long time ago, in the 60s, let's say. And John thinks it's most... A lot of pop is... It, current pop is actually R&B, but how it all works, we don't, we don't know. But we'll explore that as it goes along. Um, but I, 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 I became part of an architecture conference last year uh, because they accepted video. So I've been proposing a temporary radio studio for a while now. Temp radio studio is the hashtag. And um, I, I tried to present it as art, but it was obvious I was really looking for equipment. Um, some of the proposals have so much for the art and technical support is another budget maybe, but um, I thought, if, well, especially during the lockdown, during the lockdown phase, um, a lot of things changed, and the the working at home technology connections that that developed very very fast, and it seemed to me that um, the the home studio, which was sort of forced on a lot of people, was worth exploring, and then to the extent you could move around, whether you could move a studio anywhere. Um, JD and Chris, who who are on the Wild Show, which will be tomorrow about ten o'clock, um, we, we've we, with them. I've I've been talking about that for a long time because we 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 like sitting in cafes with coffee, but you can't broadcast from there really, and we like the studio, but you're not allowed to pour coffee over the equipment. By the by the way, I think the. I've changed my headphones now. I think it. I think this chair is. Uh, it's mo it sort of moves about. We, there was something about the headphones. It wasn't the chair moving about that was making all the noises. I think. I think for it may be okay for DAB as far as the studio is concerned. We'll see. We'll see. But if anybody's got a big budget or a studio lying about, or can suggest a grant application, that would that would be. It may turn out at some point it isn't just as straightforward as adding a DAB signal. Anyway, um, going back to, to the idea of um, a temp radio studio, which doesn't have to be very complicated, and all sorts of MP3 turns out to be OK for a short period of time. It's acceptable quality. What that length of time is, we'll discover. Uh, Anyway, I, I, one, of the, one of the places I sent this off to was um, Urban Assemblage, uh, architecturemps.com. MPS is Media, Politics and Society. So I think it's architecture extended in various ways. And um, mediated city is, is a term for it. So if you look for mediated city, or architecture MPS, you might find it. And so I, I put my ideas for a temp radio studio into the form of a, a video, and uh, it was accepted. But you, you, you'll find it as on YouTube. Look for London slash Hatfield W Pollard, and I've I've got the material for it. So I might I might update it. It was about. About June last year, it came out, and um, the idea of it is is using the city as a, as a set. Um, and I, I borrowed other 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 slides, um, make, making the point um, arch architecture as as designing a scenario. So the the details of that aren't clear in terms of architecture design, I don't suppose. But you've got a rough idea who the who the characters are and what the issues are if you're looking at a, a city site or a, an impressive building. And um, I thought it might, 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 might be open last year, but it's certainly going to be open this year, the swimming, the swimming pool in Exeter, 
would be a good occasion to consider architecture. And I, I think the fact it's um, surrounded by student accommodation built in a very different style is, is interesting because you've got um, a very, very curvy style of building, um, extravagant use of space, some might say, surrounded by boxes, essentially. And um, that's, that's going to continue in the rest of the city. Um, op opposite the Royal Albert Memorial Museum, um, from what we can tell, there's going to be another um, fairly, fairly intense use of space there and something similar opposite the um, St Luke's. And that's the one I'm surprised. I still haven't heard any comment on that from anyone linked to the university. Um, I'm sure there is something, but I don't know, don't know where it is. Um, but that, that, that can be discussed in terms of reality. You, you are going to get a, a sort of Victorian take on a medieval cloister style opposite um, something like the depot you would guess so that's that's going to be uh, quite an interesting spot I think <laughs>